Hey guys, I am pumped for today's video, and I know I say I'm excited and pumped about a lot of videos, but I am extra pumped about today's, and it's because I want to talk to you guys about contouring. And I thought a lot about like the craze of contouring recently and how it's kind of just become like an obsession, a phenomenon. As of recent, people saying contouring is out, and all I kept thinking was like, there really is no defined trend of like what should be in, what should be out. Makeup really should just be about being playful and fun and things that make sense for your face. So I wanna show you guys how simple contouring can be and it doesn't mean you have to have like that duck face with the intense contour line, but just sculpting your face to where it looks like it's defining your features in the right ways for you. The best part about what I wanna teach you right now is that I wanna show you how simple contouring can really be with products you already have at your house that you can play with, get familiar with it, and then define it and get more bold as you want. And then you can go buy all those fancy contouring products I've talked to you guys about that I love. So here's kind of like a contouring 101. Okay, so starting with the contour line, and that's the line that really goes right here that you really see defines people's faces. It needs to be something that's a shade or two darker than your skin tone. I like to do two shades darker than my skin tone. So finding a bronzer, an eyeshadow, or something that you have at home, most people have a brown eyeshadow, right? So take that and put it in the following areas. Best way to do this is suck in and make the annoying duck face to figure out where the line should go. I swear by the end of the contouring you look like war paint, but it all blends together. Another place I contour, and that's because I want to make my nose look a little slimmer, is on the bridges right here. And just using my finger, of course you can use a brush too, and then you drag it down like this. <laughs> God, I look really good. To make your forehead also look more a little defined, I carry it through up here. All right, so I look crazy, I'm aware. <laughs> and again, I just wanna emphasize that this is like one contouring technique. Of course, there's the more intensified. The whole point of contouring is that the shades that you're using are defining your face and light is reflecting off of them. So the brown is actually sinking in the parts of your face that you want to not look as defined. What I'm gonna use to do the highlighting part is a white eyeshadow. Works the same way, so for the brown, I typically like to use a more matte to sink in, because again, I don't want it to stand out. And then for the highlight, I like to use a white illuminating color. So if it has shimmer or sparkle, even better. I'm just gonna take the white and put it to the following parts of my face. <laughs> Do I look like a tiger? Because I kind of feel like a tiger. <laughs> for any of you beginners out there who want to learn how to contour, start with this. And after you have this on your face, you blend, blend, blend. And I'm gonna use my handy dandy beauty blender. really it when it comes to contouring there really are simple ways that you can use things you have at home to just learn how to contour and do a more natural version of it rather than it being a super intensified way and I really think it's a great way to learn how to make it work for your face like all these things about today's contouring tomorrow is strobing it's like there's always gonna be a new trend Figure out things that work for you and help make you feel the best about you. That's Contouring 101. Whole point is use products you have at home, play with it, figure it out to make it work on your skin. Don't worry about whether people say contouring is out, strobing is in, this eyeshadow color is out, this eyeshadow color is in. Just play with it and make it work for you and your face and have fun because that's what makeup's all about anyways. And since I'm all about beauty hacks and making things that you wouldn't use for one thing into another thing, I would love to hear from you guys what your favorite beauty hack is. So let me know in the comments below and I'll see you next time.